from 50 shades of mom welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another room makeover i don't know if you guys happen to see my tour of my kitchen video if not i will put a card up top and a link down below and there's also another video i can attach down below too for when i went shopping with daryl for this light um but during that video i showed you guys a really quick brief little look into my pantry. Uh, this was not a pantry. This was made to be a coat closet, which again, I never really understood because the front door is that way. And this is the back door. So I don't know how many people come in the back door and why the coat closet would be here, but it's super unfunctional and I hated it. So we turned it into a pantry, but I never really did the right thing with it. So it's really just seriously a super just empty room right now. The only thing I left standing is just my little stainless steel bag holder from Bed Bath & Beyond. But this is just the dog food and a few things just have shoved in here right now. It's completely unpainted. Um, all of my pantry stuff is just lined up in my kitchen and has been here for two weeks. It's obnoxious and I cannot wait to put it away. But tomorrow... A good friend of mine who is an amazing contractor is doing me a solid and coming in. We had some extra pieces of wood. He had wood and he's putting together this pantry thing for me. Um, so tonight Paul's going to help me cut in um, with the tape and all that stuff and get ready for me to paint. So if I do not paint before he gets here, then it'll just end up being a white room, which I would prefer it not to be. So I'm going to get this all painted. He's going to come and install tomorrow. And then I will show you guys what the after is. And I am excited because this is my kitchen. It's my favorite room in the house. And to have this pantry where I can just walk in and be able to inventory, that's going to be insane for meal planning and all those things when I can just see everything. I also feel like it's going to save me money because... Everything's always stuffed in this closet, and I never know wh what I have extras of. I just said in my last BJ's video that I bought an extra mayo, and I didn't need one. But I, if it's not where I can see it, then I'm not going to make the right choices. So I'm looking forward to doing this, and stay tuned, and I'll show you guys what it looks like when it's all done. Okay, guys, so here are all the materials, ladder, paints. This is inside, so I'm kind of upset. Sorry, I am like hot and sweaty. I've been stuck in that tiny little closet for the last hour and a half. All right, so I just single-handedly painted this entire thing by myself. Um, he's going to be here in a couple of minutes. Um, hopefully everything will be dry by the time he's set up. I'm kind of disappointed, so yeah. Totally made the mistake and grabbed the wrong bucket of paint. I did not mean to do that. So now it's kind of like a caramel color, um, which I have the hallway going up the stairs and in down the hallway. Um, but I wanted more of that lighter beige neutral color that I just did the laundry room, just because it's a very tiny room. So the key to making a room look larger is the lighter the color. The darker the color, the smaller the room looks. So I really wanted this to be a little lighter so it would be an appearance more open but it is what it is I made the mistake um, it'll still look nice it's painted it'll still mesh with everything else that's going on it's just not really the color that I wanted but let me show you guys you can kind of see the difference between the ceiling and the wall but I feel like I did a good job and now I'm just gonna sweep and mop this out so it's all good and clean for when he gets here and then the next phase is installation All right, guys, so this is the finished product. I am so sorry that I didn't actually get a chance to show you what this looked like without anything in there. Uh, I did take a, one photo that I posted like on my Instagram and Snapchat and stuff, and I put it um, in the thumbnail for you guys to see, but um, I was so excited. <laughs> like, I had so much stuff in my kitchen for so long, all these just shelves with this random food in it, so um, I wanted to just hurry up and put it away. I got two of these chalkboard 
baskets to put some stuff in and then I these are the two baskets I picked up from Kohl's so eventually I'll start filling these more with crates and I have an idea for this side it's just that's going to be a whole nother video because it's more of like a revamping my kitchen and making that like a little organizational project so that'll be a whole nother video but for now this is how I have this set up and I'm really excited it was worth every dollar and I really appreciate my friend he really is quite talented and it makes me really happy because like I said this was supposed to be a coat closet so this really has really just changed the versatility of my whole kitchen like I've you know even just like the cleaning supplies are far out of the way I think I'm going to put a hook here and hang my step stool here so that I have it easy to pull down for access to the things up top but that's it so I hope you guys enjoyed my little pantry makeover. I know that I did. If you liked it, hit that thumbs up button or comment down below. If you are new to my channel and you'd like to subscribe, there'll be a picture of my face in the corner. You can hit that. Or if you missed my last video, you can catch a square to see that. And thank you guys again so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.